My name is Blaine Price. I'm the course team chair of the Open University course, Computer Forensics and Investigations. I'd like to show you something I found on eBay last week. This is an ad for a memory stick containing the answers for upcoming Open University exams. So I asked a friend to buy it for me. This arrived. USB memory stick, Open University branded. Let's see what's on it. OK, there are the files for the answers and the questions for the exams for the next year for a couple of courses. Now, USB devices like this uh, often contain serial numbers. And the computer keeps a record of almost all the USB devices ever plugged into it, including the date and time it was first plugged in and the last time it was plugged in. Let's see what we've got on this one. I'm going to run a program called USB Dev View. This asks the computer to list all the USB devices on it and all the characteristics. Here's the flash drive I just plugged in, and it's got a serial number, so I'll take a note of it. Now let's go see if we can find a computer that's had this memory stick plugged into it and find out whose it is. I've heard that Crispin, one of our course managers, is selling things on eBay. So let's see if he's at his desk. He's there. Let's see if we can lure him away. Uh, Crispin, it's Blaine here. Listen, I've got an associate dean on my back. I really need those consultancy contracts now. I'm in the Perry building, room 12. Can you run over and bring them over? Thanks. Bye. That'll keep them busy. There is no room 12. Ah, he's left himself logged in. Good. I'm going to stick this Helix 3 CD in to see if we can use the forensic tools to find out what he's got on his computer. Take a moment to load. Hi, Blaine. Does Crispy know you're on his computer? Uh, it's OK. Uh, he asked me to find some files for him. Oh, oh, OK. That was close. Let's carry on and see if we can find the uh, image of the disk. I'm going to run the USB dev view program again. This is the same one we ran on the other computer and we'll see if we can find if that USB stick has been plugged in here. And there it is. The serial number there, I'm sure, matches the one I recorded. 151. Yep, that's it. So we know it's been plugged in here. We don't know if it was a long time ago or if Crispy actually was the one who put the ad on eBay. So let's see if we can find evidence of him having put the ad on. Here we've got a program that will show us the history of everything that's ever been looked at on Internet Explorer in the cache. OK, here's a list of all of the files he's looked at with Internet Explorer. And if I look down the list, there, eBay. And there is the title matching the title of the ad we saw. So we know this computer was used to look at the ad on eBay. So we know the ad was placed on Crispin's machine. We need to find out that Crispin was at the machine at the time. One way to do that is to look at the operating system to see when he was logged in. This program shows all the times that someone is logged in and out of this computer, and we can see that someone was logged in at the time. We'll have to check the network records to make sure it was Crispin who was logged in. Finally, we really need to find the file on this computer that has the exam answers on it. So first we'll do a search of all the files in the disk to see if it was left on here. OK. And I can see files that have exam and answers in them. 
but none of these are the ones we found on the USB stick. The other place they could be is in the recycle bin if you deleted them. Let's look there. The recycle bin only has a half dozen items in it and none of them match the file names. So if they were on this disk, uh, they've been deleted. One other thing that people often forget is that Windows keeps a record of the files you've used recently. Let's look in the recently used files list and see what comes up. And there it is. You can see in the list of the last 10 used documents that the file names of these files were here. So these files were probably on this computer. If we had some more time, I'd take an image of this disk, take it away, be, and look at it with another tool, because when Windows deletes a file, it doesn't actually erase it. It just marks it for reuse. And if Windows hasn't had to reuse that space, then the whole file will still be there. So what do we do now? We have a fair amount of evidence against Crispin. Do we call his boss, the dean, campus security, the police? Or should we call my boss? Did I do anything wrong? 